M0 FX Peace. So I'm learning about iambic paddle keys. So we're on Radio World's website. So thank you very much. Lots of pictures of keys here. This is the kind of one I like here. And this one here, the Bencher one. Yeah, I mean, if you, yeah, they're not cheap. <laughs> so let's read what they say. And hopefully that will describe what iambic means, which meant nothing to me a couple of weeks ago. They are, they are, I, I'm going to read it here. The iambic functions of an electronic keyer that is designed to support them, the operator can create a series of alternate dits and dars, similar to a sequence of lambs in poetry, by squeezing the levers together. For that reason, jaw paddles are sometimes called squeeze keys. Whether the sequence begins with a dit or a dar is dependent on which lever is closed first. If the dar lever is closed first, then the first element will be a dar. So the string of elements will be similar to a sequence of trochies in poetry, and the method could as logically be called trochaic, if you can say that, trochaic, <laughs> keying, insofar as lambic keying is a function of the electronic keyer. It is technically incorrect to refer to a jaw paddle as an iambic paddle, although this has often been done for marketing purposes. Hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually find a video of someone who's actually who actually does this, and I'm going to just tag it to the end of this video. Right. So firstly, thanks to Ham Radio okay. QRP. Let's talk about electronic keyers. We're going to just go over, and then I'm just going to have a quick look, and then I'll link his video into this video. Pressing them together, you'd hear the iambic pattern. But squeezing and letting go. The DAW was being sent last and it stopped. If I'm in mode B, now we're in mode B. The difference is whatever element it's sending, when I let go, it's going to finish sending that element and send the opposite element, then stop. So before I was sending an A by just squeezing them together and letting go. And you heard da-da, and because I let go while it was making the da, it stopped. But in mode B, it's going to do the dit, the da. And the so that's just a taste of it. Obviously, there's we need to watch his um, video properly. Um, you can just use it as a normal paddle, you know, dits on one side and da's on the other. The, the iambic, is there's a learning process to it. So I think if you're seriously considering um, Q, uh, CW, all this information that I'm learning and putting onto my Facebook and my and YouTube is me getting to myself to a point where most people who have been using CW for years and years, they know all this already, but we don't because we're brand new uh, to CW. So, um, yeah, thank you, and I'll put the, this video link in, the, in this video. So 7-3, please like and subscribe my channel. All the best.